Stanford University. An elated voice on the other end of the phone said, we have a laser. It was, the excitement was clearly transmitted over the phone line. It was a thrilling moment. It was beautiful. It was the greatest experience of my life. We didn't take a step backwards. We went straight to our goal. We had an easy time measuring uh, the successive stages of amplification, magnet by magnet. Each time we put in a magnet, radiation got more intense. The frontier opened by the Linac coherent light source, this X-ray free electron laser, is uncharted territory. When you're taking a second to look at uh, atoms as they form or break molecular bonds, you basically see a blur. You can see the beginning state, you can see the end state, and then something happens in the middle and it's a blur. In the case of the LCLS, for a large class of, of phenomena like that, transitions, changes in state, we can actually see the atoms as they move on atomic length scales and get snapshots of them before and during these changes. So the first time we will be studying atoms on time scales that atoms are actually doing things. And with the x-ray beam we can actually watch how the molecules change shape. So you can look at a process like photosynthesis, one molecule one step at a time. Snapshot by snapshot and assemble a movie. The Linac Coherent Light Source is a tool for the world. This is a user facility. Scientists write proposals for beam time. Those proposals are awarded beam time on a peer-reviewed basis. It is, a, it is a tool for the world. This is far and away the brightest X-ray source ever built. On the betting board, Paul Emma predicted he could do it in two shots, and he delivered it on two shots. So that is the frontier opened by LCLS. It's ultra bright, ultra short, we get atomic resolution in space and in time together. For this laboratory, that will in a major way define our scientific program for the next decade. We were all dumbfounded. We were standing there dumbfounded looking at the light. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.